Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. So, you're a truck again? What is with you becoming a truck? I thought you'd be like a jet or a tank. I mean, come on. Do you have a thing for Optimus Prime? <laughs> no sequel for you. Big kids, here's your big review the Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Galvatron movie figure. You got Galvatron in a nice window display box, there's Transformers on the front. Nice picture of the movie of Galvatron. So it's Galvatron Transformers. Right here continues that same front picture. It says Transformers Generation Voyager class. It says Transformers on the side with the Autobot symbol on the other side, which is weird because it's a Decepticon. Changes in 17 steps when Optimus Prime dealt a crushing blow to Megatron in the Battle of Chicago. The triumph was short lived. The victorious Autobots were rewarded with exile and new enemies determined to bring about their total destruction. If there was ever any doubt, the Autobots now known for certain as long as there is a Decepticon with a spark in the circuits their century-old war will continue and you can see uh, Galvatron in his truck mode and uh, also Autobot how they say his name was Galvatron Here we got Transformers uh, Age of Extinction Voyager Galvatron in his Mac truck mode definitely not what you expect Galvatron to transform into but let's take a closer look at it I don't know why Michael Bay or whoever decided to make Galvatron into a truck but the toy uh, does look cool Cool in this mode. I like the clear plastic uh, windows and the grill looks pretty good. It looks like a pretty decent truck mode. Uh, the wheels are just plain black plastic. The paint apps are pretty good. Not entirely movie accurate colors but none of these toys have been really anyway so they just continue that same scheme. Black wheels. Now if you look at it the vehicle mode um, does look pretty um, proportioned more so than like um, like Grimlock or whatever, but uh, it is a little skinnier. These are his legs, obviously. And um, even the hitch right here, I don't know if it will work with actual tr um, G1 Prime trailer or whatever, but it might. It is a lot skinnier and it doesn't, this part doesn't fill in. And you can kind of see his hands in there. They always seem to have like some sort of gap here. And, but if you take a look at his weapon, which uh, it's his big old fusion cannon, I guess, and it has a blue missile, which you can see here, it kind of shoots out. Oop, and you press, yeah, it shoots out. Up right here, there's a big hole, and you can either put it, you have to put it with this tab hole, and the way, because it looks, it looks kind of weird on one side. But yeah, that's his battle mode. So this is the closest to get Galvatron looking like his kind of G1 self, like his tank mode. It's a tank truck, yeah. Whatever, but um, if you wanted to to give it more of a robot in the skies, which I guess they're trying to get Galvatron a more robot in the skies look, um, you can put the cannon kind of like here and have, if you take out the missile, it looks a little bit better. Almost looks like he's just holding like an engine. Galvatron does transform in 18 steps or 17 steps. Uh, it's really easy and see the instructions. So let me show you how to transform him. So the way you would do this first, you kind of separate his legs and uh, actually you want to take these parts right here on the side and bring them uh, to the wheels, collapse them. Then you want to take out the feet, take them out and then rotate it. And by the way, you want to actually pull out the heel, which they don't do in uh, the packaging. And then with this part right here, you want to actually take the wheels and bring them to the side right here. Then you want to kind of bring this out. So you can see the arms right here. You bring them and then you they clip into place right here. So bring the arms out, clip them into place. And then the head, you just bring forward. The back part, you actually uh, bring this to the top right here. Then the way you work, you would tab this part in and this folds in, kind of giving him low wings. And you just kind of tab this part down into here. There you got Galvatron in his robot mode. I really like his robot mode. Even though he's a shell former, he's not as bad as the uh, leader Optimus Prime. The one thing you notice, his sculpting on his head is really nice, but because of the lack of paint, you can't really see it. And that's a very real shame because he has a really cool head sculpt. It's very reminiscent of the movie Megatron. But yeah, I do like, you know, the blue in there. The gray plastic isn't, eh, it's okay. But the blue is nice and you see the Decepticon logo on his arms. You know, he looks pretty decent in this mode, really. And yeah, his feet, 
It looks very alien like how the bay formers have turned out over the years. And like I said, the side of him, it does look like more truck. All, pretty much the truck is all attached to his back. You can see right there. So yeah, he's the shell former, but it's not as bad. It kind of gives him mini wings or kind of like shoulder pads. So it actually looks pretty decent. For articulation, Galvatron's head is on this nice ball joint that goes up and down. It can move left, right. He, his head, the way it's shaped, it can really rotate, which sucks. It keeps hitting like this part right here, but it's, it still has good motion. Uh, the arms uh, can go up and down. The shoulder pads go up, but he still wouldn't be able to rotate. You can kind of rotate it if you cheat like that it, but yeah it, it can and like it can only go up like that high which sucks but um yeah it, can, it has ratchet joints to go in and out rotates out the bicep right here he has two points of elbow articulation which is great it does look a little bit weird though but oh well uh, no wrist articulation or waist articulation but his legs do go forward and back in and out on nice ratchet joints rotate the other part of the leg he does bend at the knee but it's a very small bend because uh, the way his transformation is and his ankles do pivot forward and back and he does have an ankle pivot side to side now you can take uh, uh, Galvatron's fusion cannon and he has a tab right here you just put it in his hand kind of makes it look like he's it's part of his arm which looks cool I kind of wish you can plug it in the side give it like a G1 Galvatron look but overall he does look pretty badass actually hey Optimus Mr. Prime Prime time I want you to see something come on come on looky come on it's pretty neat you'll you'll think it's awesome come on come on look look uh, Prime I'm a truck Big truck, just like you. Oh yeah, I'm awesome. Galvatron, you are a mother trucker. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Voyager Galvatron works with the other Age of Extinction figures. He is smaller than leader uh, Grimlock, which he should be. Grimlock should be much bigger. He is the same size as the Voyager Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. He's a little bit taller than the Voyager uh, Dark of the Moon Megatron, and he's bigger than six inch figure like the Marvel Legends Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. For our first Decepticon in the line, I think Galvatron's a really good figure. I wish he did have some more paint abs uh, to bring out his sculpt, but I do like his transformation. Both his vehicle mode and his robot mode are really awesome. He has some really good posability, and I do like his cannon. I do also wish you can give him like a G1 Galvatron sort of look. If Lockdown and the other Decepticon figures we're getting are just as good as, as Galvatron here, then I'll be really happy with the line because he's everything I could want in a Voyager class movie Transformer. Like I said, I love both modes, the transformation, his accessory makes sense. And yeah, I I definitely recommend him uh, to get him in your collection. And for more, uh, check out tformers.com and at my website, shawnxlong.com. I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long and Love Life. And also subscribe to John 3.0 who voiced Optimus Prime in the video. At least Galvatron won't sound like Mr. Spock this time. Live long and suck it, Galvatron. Hi there. My name is Optimus Prime. The corny jokes in this video do not necessarily reflect the humor of Optimus Prime and John 3.0. Autobots transform and subscribe to John 3.0 at DC. Sorry, Wonder Woman, you're just too confusing for a solo movie. The world isn't ready for it. You can make a cameo on me and Superman's movie, though. Meanwhile, at Marvel, here's a talking raccoon with a machine gun.